On Thursday, Elon Musk took to his social media platform X to announce his big plan, saying the SpaceX headquarters will officially become Starbase City, Texas. Goodbye, California. SpaceX headquarters will officially be in Starbase, Texas. Of course, this is not just mere relocation, but to make something that has never been seen before, turning the South Texas location into a literal gateway to Mars. As everything comes true, Texas will become an actual heaven, whereas California, under Newsom's era, will increasingly fall into crisis. Find out everything in today's episode. Now this all began properly in the summer of 2014, when Elon Musk formally announced Boca Chica had been selected as Starship launch site. This gave tremendous validation for the border town, which had often been overshadowed by negative national rhetoric. Suddenly, Boca Chica was on the map, attracting attention from businesses and investors who began to see its potential. Construction began in 2015, transforming the remote area into a bustling spaceport. The site, later renamed Starbase, became the primary testing ground for SpaceX's Starship program. Elon Musk's vision of Mars colonization drove the rapid expansion of facilities and infrastructure. SpaceX's activity on the ground ramped up as rocket testing began in 2019. By 2020, Starbase housed production buildings, launch pads, and tank farms essential for Starship development. Since then, Boca Chica witnessed numerous groundbreaking events in spaceflight history, including the first successful high-altitude flight and landing of a Starship prototype that occurred in May 2021, the first orbital launch attempt of the full Starship system in 2022, and six Starship integration tests between 2023 and 2024. SpaceX's Boca Chica facility, known as Starbase, has become a crucial hub for the company's rocket development and testing. And now it has officially become SpaceX's headquarters, which was previously located in California. Billionaire Elon Musk on Thursday, December 12, announced on X as, quote, SpaceX headquarters will now officially be in the city of Starbase, Texas. This follows his decision earlier this year to move the headquarters of SpaceX and his social media company, X, from California to Texas, which stems from his long-term disappointment with the Golden State. The news immediately made people excited just a few hours after it was revealed. Governor of Texas, Greg Abbott shared on X, This is excellent. Starbase, Texas. The official headquarters for SpaceX. Proud to have you in Texas. Locating SpaceX's headquarters in Starbase, Texas, presents numerous advantages for both the company and the local community. This strategic move taps into the burgeoning energy of a growing space sector, reduces logistical challenges for launches, and positions Texas as a global hub for innovation. Can't wait to see what breakthroughs come out of this move. So how about you? Are you excited about this new change? Comment, Texas, if you feel the same way. Along with relocating the headquarters, SpaceX sent a letter to local officials requesting an election to turn the South Texas site, Starbase, into an incorporated city. According to Catherine Luters, the general manager of Starbase, the incorporation of Starbase as the newest city in the Rio Grande Valley will accelerate the process of recruiting the workforce necessary to rapidly develop and manufacture Starship. Frankly, Elon Musk has come up with that idea since 2021, and he wrote a social media post that simply said, creating the city of Starbase, Texas. By then, SpaceX had contacted officials in Texas about incorporating the unincorporated village of Boca Chica, which is next door to SpaceX's Starship production complex. Musk's requirement surprised Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. a little bit because Trevino had never dealt with an incorporation request before during his tenure as judge, since such requests were few and far between these days. Not to mention the process of turning an unincorporated community into an incorporated city requires a number of steps, requiring a coordinated effort by residents, the approval of a majority of voters in the area, gathering signatures, and a petition to the county. 
it likewise requires plenty of legal expertise. At the time I made this report, the Cameron County judge had not publicly replied to the request. But with SpaceX's persistence over the past three years, its huge contributions to the local economy over the years, and SpaceX's new position after the U.S. presidential election, I am confident that good news will come soon. If you are concerned that the process will be hindered by local residents, in reality, that is unlikely to happen. Residents of the area have already submitted a petition in support of this incorporation, signaling strong local interest in transforming the region into a thriving hub for aerospace innovation. They have a point. The desire for a safe and prosperous city resonates with many, including Texans, who long for the vibrant community that California once offered. With Elon Musk's decision to establish SpaceX's headquarters in Starbase, Texas, the hope for a brighter future has been floated again. The most notable change in Texas is in the economy. The establishment of Starbase as a city is anticipated to enhance job opportunities significantly. Currently, the facility employs over 3,400 full-time staff and contractors, and the incorporation could facilitate further workforce growth necessary for the rapid development of SpaceX's ambitious projects particularly the Starship rocket program. City status often elevates a region's profile, making it more attractive to potential investors and businesses. Similar cases such as Doncaster became a city in the UK in 2022 after 828 years as a town. Thanks to that, this old area has become a bright tourist destination and is poised to attract a larger number of visitors and, of course, huge investors promising greater economic opportunities. The transformation of Starbase could similarly position it as a hub for aerospace innovation and technology firms looking to establish a presence near SpaceX's operations. Elon Musk has invested substantially on this area since his early days in here, and he will increase his investments even more in the future once he sees this as the place where SpaceX's brain is located. Of course, besides Musk, it is impossible not to mention the huge investments from other investors. As a result, city status can enable better access to funding for public services, such as roads, utilities, and emergency services, which are crucial for supporting both residents and businesses alike. Texas is poised to run cleaner and more efficiently than any city worldwide. Additionally, becoming an official city could also provide Starbase with greater political leverage at both state and national levels. This increased visibility may lead to more significant investment from government entities aimed at fostering technological advancement and economic development in the region. With that potential, it's no wonder that the wave of migration from California to the lower tax region of Texas will accelerate in the coming years. This stems from the reality that many companies are choosing to move out of California. Some notable examples include tech firms and manufacturers, such as oil giant Chevron, Tesla, Oracle, and SpaceX. Companies cite high costs of living, expensive taxes, and strict regulations as major reasons for their departures. Business leaders argue that these factors make it difficult to operate profitably in California. In the future, the matter will be more complex, as the Newsom administration has just unexpectedly raised taxes on California workers starting in January 2025. A small tax increase provides more money to the state's disability insurance program. The previous payroll tax increase was in January 2024 which will benefit workers with lower incomes, but high earners will pay the price. All of this would likely make California more expensive for high-income earners, exacerbating the state's lack of jobs and investment. However, this leads to a paradox, that once some high-profile companies moved their headquarters out of California, they have still retained a significant number of employees in the state. This means that, while they may have shifted their main offices to other states, many workers continue to work in California and will keep paying the state's personal income tax. This may likely be disadvantageous to the businesses. Take Oracle, for example, 
decided to move its headquarters from Redwood City, California to Austin, Texas in 2020. Despite moving its headquarters due to California's business environment, Oracle still has a substantial workforce in California. As of spring 2023, Oracle employed around 6,900 workers in California, compared to 2,500 in Texas. This means that the majority of its employees remain in California. The employees who continue to work in the Golden State will still pay personal income taxes to the state. Although Oracle has not disclosed specific tax amounts due to confidentiality laws, we know that the company remains a significant taxpayer in California. In Redwood City, Oracle is still the largest employer, with approximately 3,757 employees, making up over 7% of the city's workforce. While Oracle has cut about 3,000 jobs there over the past decade, it continues to play a crucial role in the local economy. In conclusion, moving a headquarters does not necessarily mean a company escapes a strong presence and workforce in California. So far, it's unclear whether SpaceX is in a similar case to Oracle, since the company's headquarters in Hawthorne is a huge aerospace facility. In the long run, though, moving to a more favorable state like Texas is actually the right decision. Texas offers a more favorable business climate compared to California. The state has lower taxes and operational costs, which can significantly benefit companies like SpaceX. By relocating, Musk aims to reduce expenses related to employment and corporate taxes, making it easier for the company to grow and invest in its operations. The new headquarters at SpaceX's launch site in Boca Chica, Texas, is strategically located for aerospace operations. Being closer to the equator enhances fuel efficiency for rocket launches, which is advantageous for SpaceX's space missions. This location also allows for streamlined logistics and operations related to rocket testing and production. Last but not least, Texas, particularly cities like Austin, is becoming a hub for technology and innovation, often referred to as Silicon Hills. The state is home to a growing number of tech companies and startups, which creates a vibrant ecosystem that can attract talent and resources necessary for SpaceX's ambitious projects. The move of SpaceX headquarters to the Texas city of Austin from Palo Alto in California follows Tesla's move in 2021. To explain this, Musk cited California's regulations and taxes and also clashed with health officials at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic over reopening a factory in Fremont. Musk called government restrictions amid the pandemic fascist. Frankly, this is the final straw, Musk later said on X. Tesla will now move its headquarters and future programs to Texas Chasha, Nevada immediately. If we even retain Fremont manufacturing activity at all, it will be dependent on how Tesla is treated in the future. He then defied lockdown orders and ordered restarting production in California until officials agreed to reopen the company's facilities with safety measures in place. Despite the signs of Musk's fraying relationship with California, both Tesla employees and state officials were floored by the announcement of the headquarter move and reportedly continue to question what it really means. Elon didn't even tell his team. D.D. Myers, California Governor Gavin Newsom's economy czar, said when asked if the state had been informed in advance of Musk's plans. We later talked to the leadership in his offices in California, who did not know until he made that announcement, she said. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.